Let's go over comparing decimals. So in this example, we are comparing 647 thousandths and 65 hundredths. Now, if we look at the two numbers, we can see that this number, 647 thousandths, has more digits than 65 hundredths. But just because it has more digits doesn't mean that it has the largest value. So to compare the decimal numbers, it is important that we compare the digits in each of the place value spots. So to do that, let's follow these three simple steps. So first, let's rewrite the numbers and line up each of the decimal points. Now the next thing we're going to do is compare the whole number spots. So just look in front of the decimal. In front of the decimal, I have 0 and 0. That's the same. All right, so now we're going to compare each decimal place value spot. So if I look at the number directly behind the decimal in the tenths place, I have a 6 and a 6. So right now we're still equal. But if I go to the next place value spot, this is where it's different. In the hundredths place, I have four hundredths in the first number and five hundredths in the second number. Well, everything is equal up until this point right here. So because five is larger than four, it doesn't matter about this seven over here. It doesn't matter at all. But because five hundredths is more than four hundredths, that makes 65 hundredths would be larger than 647 thousandths. Let's look at another example. So first, I'm going to rewrite each number. I'm going to line up my decimal points. 1, 0. So the next thing we're going to do is compare the whole numbers. So if I look in front of my decimal point, I can see right away that this number is larger. So 1 and 11 thousandths is larger than 926 thousandths.